All right, I'm with you with another function tutorial. Okay, this function tutorial will be on void functions. So what is a void function? I don't know if you've ever heard about it, but void is basically uh, something that is empty. There, there's nothing of it. And that's basically what it is, void functions. We have no output arguments. None, nada, can you believe it? And um, why is this function useful then, you might, you might ask? Well, in MATLAB's case, I have a couple examples that I want to show you. For example, if you want to draw a really fancy star, you can use it without input arguments. Can you believe that? Also, we can uh, print something, but we don't have to uh, use any output arguments, right? So let's go here and um, show me how it's done. So now, in output arguments, we're deleting this. Oh my God, there's nothing here. How is this, how is it gonna work, right? Well, let me show you. You're gonna do this, it will be empty. If we have no input arguments, you're doing it like this. Let's say this is a parentheses, I know it's, it's ugly. All right, you're leaving it empty and you're basically writing your function and write and at the end, finally. All right, this is fabulous, right? So let me delete that and um, our function will basically use display, okay? Or we can use also fprintf, which is another useful function that we can use, right? fprintf is really good, but we're not gonna deal any of it, deal with any of it, and uh, go back to our functions. Our first function is going to be a star. So we're going to draw draw a star with a function that we have not learned yet. So let's go there and work with it. Let me open it up, I actually wrote the function. So first we are defining theta, okay? Theta is from pi over two, which is um, in radian. Then it step size is 0.8 times pi, and it goes to 4.8 times pi. And we are also generating um, a, a, a column vector. I, I believe it's a column vector. Wait a second, I forgot it. Okay, sorry, this is a row vector. So we are generating a row vector and um, we are basically creating a polar, uh, polar plot. So let me draw that in polar coordinates. So function is written there. So I'm just gonna type star since this has no and with arguments, you don't have to do anything else. Star and wait a second, I'll look at it. 0 0.02, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.1. And here we have a beautiful star. All right, what else we can do? We can also create something like this. I've actually written this function before, so let me show you drinks. This is a really simple function. So in this function, he, this is what we do. So we have function, as you can see here, we have no output arguments because we don't need them, right? And we have two input arguments. So he, this is basically what this function do. We have something called, let me show you. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up. But you're gonna laugh at me because this function is really, really simple. All right. Uh, it's, it's, all right, it's almost done. I'd like to clean it up, clean it all up so that we can show you. So let's say we have, okay, this is not a good one. Maybe this guy. Okay, so we first input a person's name, okay? So let's say John. John Reeves. Then we have a drink name, let's say coffee. I know he has better taste when it comes to drinks, but okay. Then our function, what our function does is that our function inserts, inserts drinks here, okay? That's what our function does. So let's see how, it, how it's implemented. First, we're, we're taking our input arguments, person and drink, we are, we commented out so that people can understand what this function does. Very useful for the for the future of humanity. Then uh, we create a string called string one uh, inside square brackets. I didn't use uh, strcat because strcat 
removes trailing blanks, so that's a problem for us. Here is person, then drinks and drinks. So at the end, it's display the string. Let me delete this. All right, so let's try it out. Drinks, and as you see, we have no something like this, right? We don't have to do this because we don't have any author arguments. Drinks, and in parentheses, let's say John Reeves. Then drinks, sorry, drinks. Don't forget to put. I'm sorry. What am I doing? That's that's what our function is going to do. And a drink name. Let's say uh, an original one. An original. I can't think of anything other than tea and coffee. But let's say Coke. John Reeves drinks Coke. That's what our function does, right? No other arguments, but it outputs what else. All right. Thank you for watching. See you in another tutorial.